Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I found another recipe on Pinterest that I told my daughter was making some onion pie. She said that really sounded delicious. They, you know, if everybody's eating onion rings, these are supposed to taste just like the onion rings, only they're patties. So I was thrilled when I saw the, the um, ingredients. I was thrilled when I saw the recipe because I've always wanted to do something like this. First of all, I'm going to be doing it. Hi, good to see you. I'm going to put it in my bowl. Now, then I'll be going to the skillet after I get everything ready to go. Let me go ahead. Hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Let me go ahead and share this out real quick. Okay. I'm going to share it out, and then I'm going to ask for a share. And I thank you for everybody that shares this out and is here for me every day because I appreciate it a lot. I really do. Oops. <laughs> it didn't want to share to Facebook at first. Okay, there we go. And I shut my... My, uh, hi, Nikki, good to see you. I shut my chat off because I don't think I need it. I'm having problems with it not doing what it needs to do anyway, so I shut it off. Hi, good to see you. Now I'm going to ask for a share. Since I shared this out, I'm going to ask for a share myself. Oops. There we go. All right, there we go. Now, first of all, I, you can see my bowl here, my Pampered Chef bowl, and I'll try to get this as close as I can, although I've got, a, I've got my skillet here, and I'm going to have to put it down on my skillet. First of all, I had to chop up two and a half cups of onions, but those don't go in there right right away. I'm going to have to do all my dry ingredients first, and I'll tell you what I'm putting in here as I'm putting it in here. I'm going to um, three quarter three quarter cup of flour, and this is all purpose flour. There's my baby girl. There she is. I put this down just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now, three, four, three quarter cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, which I already have measured out. And they also want um, one tablespoon of cornmeal, which I don't have that measured out, so I'm going to go measure this out right now, my cornmeal. All right. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. And I've got my teaspoon out. I, I did have it out. I'll put it back. Okay. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. I'm going to put my, put my pan on so we can start getting hot. Okay. Now it says... In a large bowl, mix all dry ingredients, then add milk and stir. I'm going to mix all my dry ingredients. I'm going to get me a spoon here. I'm going to mix them all. Good to see everybody in here. And then I'm going to mix these all together. And then I'm going to add my non-dairy milk, which is three-quarter cup of milk. And you're going to have a thick batter on this, they said. I use this bowl because I want to make sure I have plenty of room to uh, do this. Yeah, it is thick once you get everything mixed in here. Get all the flour mixed in. And then you have to put the onions in. Hi, good to see you, Erlene. Good to see you. Now I'm going to put in my, my onions. I think it ended up with more like two and a quarter because I used two big onions, two huge onion, onions that I had, and I wasn't going to try to start cook, cut, cutting up anymore. So, and this is the batter. I'm just going to mix everything together like this, and then you put drop it by tablespoonfuls. I think I'm going to use this big scoop and put it down with that. Put it on your skillet. I'm going to get my skillet warmed up right now. It won't be hot, but I'm going to try to get stir this around a little bit. Try to get this. I'll put that down in a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is going to be different. These are going to be onion patties and everything. They should hold together. Hopefully they will. You can see, look at this. <laughs> That's a different kind of batter, isn't it? I had to use my onion chopper to chop everything up. Now I'm going to take, um, I'll just put these in here anyway, whether they're hot. I'll put, I'll put a lid on it when I get done. Um, put them in here. I probably could have 
I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm gonna flatten them out. I'm gonna put this down so you can watch me on my skillet. There we go. And I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm gonna flatten it down. I don't know how many this makes because the, the recipe does not say. I thought I'd use my 12 inch skillet, that way I've got plenty of room. And I can always freeze these up. I'll do four. I think I can get four in here. Well, I won't eat that many at once. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. Well, let's hope these don't break apart. If they do, at least it's a, it's, it's a tri it's trial and error. Everything is trial and error the first time, as we all know, because you're bound to make mistakes. And I'm going to add, now it says two teaspoons of salt. I don't know where my teaspoon went. Oh, I think it's in here. Uh, that's a teaspoon. Uh, and I'm going to, okay, here's a teaspoon. I'm going to use the teaspoon, and I'm just going to spray, sprinkle some salt on just to flavor it up a little bit. And everybody, everybody knows I use sea salt. So... Can't get that in there. So I'm going to have to, well, I'll probably just put some in my hand. Probably best just put some in my hand. And then just a pinch on here. You don't want to overdo. <laughs> Try to get this back in here. That's going to be fun. <laughs> well, I guess it is going back in there. I put just a little bit too much on my hand. I'm going to pinch this. All right, there we go. Now, I've got four in here, and I'm just going to let them, I'm going to get my lid out so I can get them done quicker. Okay, there we go. As you can see, they're going to be different. Onion patties, like my daughter said. They're supposed to be similar to onion rings, but they're onion patties. Forget the onion, forget the onion rings, you know. I used to eat a lot of onion rings when I went to the, you know, restaurants and stuff. I still get them once in a while, too. But these are supposed to be different. Um, yeah, it is. It's on medium. It is on medium. I probably could put it up a little bit higher. Um, maybe I could put it up a little higher. You think I should put it up a little higher? Um, I put it on medium, but I put the, put the lid on. You can see it is starting to get steam on the lid. This will help them get done a little bit better. Um, I, I hate to have it too high because I don't want to burn them. Um, in fact, I'm going to put this up a little bit so um, until, I get, until I'm ready to turn them over and I can take them out. But what's, how's everybody's weather doing today and what you're going to have to eat for later? Um, you've got your, your supper planned out. Um, we're supposed to be 75 today. So it's warming up quite, quite considerably now compared to what it was. So I changed my clothes. Um, you made lettuce wraps? Awesome! There's a lettuce wrap um, recipe up on Pinterest that I want to do. Um, I, I haven't done it yet, but I want to do it. It's, it looks really good. Um, there's also um, there's a recipe for tofu nuggets. I am in Oregon, but I won't tell you anymore. I'm, just, I'm in Oregon. Um, I'm going to make a, hopefully, um, oh, thank you. I just got a cut yesterday. Um, North Carolina, 95 degrees. Wow. Woo. Oh, oh my, God, my daughter's having leftover barbecue. Well, that's, that's a good thing to have, sweetie. She's having leftover barbecue. Oh, my, yeah. Of course, there in Missouri, it always gets hot and muggy. Um, this is, okay. That's, that's enough of that. I I don't I, I don't I'm joking or not I do not I do when somebody asks for my address that they're they're gone they're gone that's it you know I I don't deal with that I don't play that's very serious you know very serious so you know if anybody asks you for your address you just tell them it's none of their business so <laughs> so somebody else may 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 not you know may may give them the address and then you got a problem so I didn't want to you know. Um, 
No, it certainly isn't. It's nothing to joke about. You're absolutely right. Saying they're just joking. Uh -uh, because they can hold it against you. So that's why you can see that I blocked him immediately. I'm not going to deal with that. I do not give my address out on here. My daughter knows what it is, but she won't tell anybody. I will not give my address to anybody. I won't give my daughter's address to anybody. It's none of their business. It's nobody's business by our own. You know. And I don't ask for anybody else's address either because I don't need to know where they're at. If I just know the state they're in, that's all I need to know. But he has to go in and find out where I'm at. No way. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Because I got my location off because I won't tell anybody where I'm at because I've run into a problem with that before when the location was on. People could figure out where I was at. Well, there's no way they're going to do that now, the location off. But anyway, um, these ought to be really good. I'm going to let them in here for a little bit. You can see it's the lid's all steamy. You can see it's real steamy. And I want to make sure these get good and done. I don't want to flip them over until I know that they're they're starting to do something on the other side. I probably could set it up a little higher, maybe on seven, maybe flip it up a little. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome. I've got, uh, he's in the, in the, um, in my skillet. Um, and I'll put it down as soon as I'm ready to flip them over so you can see what they look like. Um, they're onion patties. This is the batter. Um, I probably could have chopped them up a little better, but I don't think it really matters. But, uh, uh, I've never had onion patties, but I have had onion rings because these are based on the onion ring, I guess, um, recipe. And uh, pretty much. So the woman that made these, she said they are delicious. And when I told my daughter, she said, oh, that sounds good. Onion patties, it's simple. If you got probably everything in your in your um, uh, pantry or your, or your cupboard, you know, everything you need, you know, onions and cornmeal and salt and, and your baking powder and, and your sugar and flour, that's simple. Real simple to make. Not going to be hard at all. I'm going to see if these are ready to flip over and then I can... Let you see what they look like. Now they're they're cooking really well now. Put this down. You can see they're. Oh yeah, look at them. Hopefully I can flip them over, but I'm gonna. Maybe I should wait a little bit. I don't want to get them. I don't want to flip them too soon because I don't want them falling apart on me. Because this is a whole new recipe that I've never done before. I think I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit. I'll, I'll let them get done a little bit more before they before I flip them over. No, I don't think so. It, it's going to help them cook faster. Um, it, 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 well, it makes moisture, but it also, it, I don't know, I'm not sure if it does that, but it helps them to cook faster. It, it keeps the keeps the heat in, and they'll cook a lot faster. Because I've I've tried to cook in my skillet before with the, with the thing off, and it takes them a long time on one side to brown. So with the lid on, it kind of gives them. And you can see it's steaming up on the inside, so it's it's getting a uh, it's going to keep the heat in. And I put it. I just put it up a little bit higher, so it's going to take a little time to get back to get to uh, cook real well. I want to get them good and done. Uh, they're trying to bubble a little bit, but I want to make sure that they're getting done. Um, yeah, probably. But I wouldn't know what's what sauce really. I don't know. I may I may, I may put my uh, my vegan uh, cheddar cheese on top. I might be able to flip these over without any problem. We'll try here. Uh, let me see if I get another. Might need two spatulas, one to flip it and one to hold it. Well, maybe I better flip it with that one. <laughs> Just happened to think I don't need to flip it with that one. That one's too small. Uh, these, it's hard when these these pans, everything slides all over. Let me try to flip it with this one. Hold it. Okay. Whoa. It's hard. Doesn't want to. It's hard to flip it because the pan is so slippery. <laughs> I don't know what's the best way. Uh, Oh, yeah, that could be good, too. Let me try a different one. Oh, there we go. It almost looks like a pancake. It almost looks like a pancake, really. And it looks like an onion pancake when you look at it. I flipped it over. Doesn't it look like an onion pancake? Well, that one's going to be broken, but it does. It looks like an onion pancake. Oops, that one kind of fell apart. It does. It looks like an onion pancake. Could probably use them for that way if I wanted to. Onion pancake. Well, I'll flip that. That's going to break up too. I hate that when they start breaking up. Ugh. You know, this is all trial and error the first time. I hate it. I hate it because I'm trying to do something on Periscope. I'm, I'm trying to have something turn out good and it's flipping up, flopping on me. There, now that works. There. Don't they? 
No, it's not the first time in the kitchen. It's the first time making these, but they almost look like they almost look like uh, pancakes. That's what they look like. Um, it was hard to supposed to be. I was supposed to have patties, but um, with onions and everything in them, I could call them onion pancakes. Why not? <laughs> but don't they look like pancakes? They really do. They look more like pancakes than patties. They really do. But they're supposed to be patties and go on bread. So, what do you think? They do. <laughs> Don't they look like pancakes? I think they do. Now, this one may not may not keep that one. Um, I can toss that one because that one didn't uh, come out too good. I can just toss this one. That happens. You're bound, you're bound to throw some out. I don't, this one isn't going to be any good, so I'll toss it. Because it's not going to get done. I'll just hurry up and toss this one out, and I'll come right back. There we go. Oh. oh, well, I just 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 tossed it out, so um, I'm going to try to get another one ready to go here. And these are supposed to be patties. Well, boy, they, they look, like I said, they look like pancakes to me. They do. They look like, they look like pancakes. I guess I could change the title to Pancakes. Although I don't eat pancakes now, but maybe I should turn this up a little higher. Maybe they'll done a little bit better. I don't want to get them too brown, but um, let me see if these are done on the other side. They do. They look like real flat pancakes. You could probably put them on bread, though. Well, they did get done. They kind of, you know, that got done and kind of watered up. Um, I'm going to try to post on Facebook what turned out good and what didn't, I won't worry, worry about. Well, no, that one's not too bad. Um, I could probably still put them on bread because they're supposed to be onion patties. They have a good flavor to them. Absolutely have enough. Actually, I could probably put two patties on one slice of bread. Oh, <laughs> well, it said to flatten them. It said to flatten them, sweetie, so that's what I did. Um... I said to flatten them, so maybe you're probably right, sweetie. I probably did flatten them a little too hard. Um, but you know something? It's trial and error. I'm learning right along with you. I'm learning, I'm, I'm learning like you are. So it's it just takes time. Put this back on. So you can see they <laughs> they look funny though, don't they? Don't they? Don't they? Um, let them cook more to harden up. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, these will be okay, but there's ones in the skillet. I'll let them cook a little longer. But uh, you're right because they look more like pancakes. I don't know why they gave it the <laughs> the the uh, thing of patties because they almost look like pancakes. Let me try this. It's broken apart. Let me see. Let me taste it. Wow, they do taste like those onion rings. Mm 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 hmm. Absolutely. They taste just like the onion rings you buy, like at Mickey D's or Burger King. Mmm, better. Mmm. Wow. Very good flavor. Very, very good. See the ones in here now? I'm going to let them in here a little bit longer. I'm going to let them uh, really brown up good. Um, these were just trial and error. The first, first batch is always a trial and error. So I'm going to break this up a little bit. I'll let the other ones cook a little bit longer, and then, then we can see. No, no, you can't taste the cornmeal, sweetie. I know you're afraid of that. You, you cannot taste it. You taste the onion, and that's what you want to taste. You taste the onion more than anything because that's what's in there. You don't like cornmeal? Well, you don't taste it. It only takes just a little bit of cornmeal, a tablespoon of cornmeal, which isn't much. You don't taste that. You taste the onions. That's what you want to taste because there's two and a half cups of onion in there. That's what you taste, and it tastes just like the, the onion rings you get in the store or at your, at, you know, if you buy any or, you know, hi, uh, Tammy, good to see you. You buy it, you know, at Mickey D's or whatever. They taste just that good. They, t you know, real good. Um, I'm going to let these in here a little bit longer. We're going to see how they're going to work. But as you can see, these didn't come out too bad. They're a little brown. I mean, they're real flat, but I could take two of them and put them on a slice of bread that way. They almost look like pancakes. But the flavor, wow. I mean, 
These are awesome. The awesome flavor. They really are. They're awesome flavor. Maybe if Erlene would make these, <laughs> they would probably look like like patties for her. You know, you couldn't you couldn't very well um, put them uh, put them together with your hand. Um, dip in ketchup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Speaking of that, you know, I made my hummus yesterday. After I after I got off a of periscope and I told my daughter I bought some carrot carrot sticks and celery sticks yesterday for at, at the store for my hummus. I took two celery sticks, washed them real good, and spread hummus on them. Oh man, was that good! It was really good. It was so good. That hummus is delicious. Um, if people weren't in here yesterday, let me show you what my hummus looks like. Now, I could have put a little bit more stuff on here, like cumin and that, but there's my hummus. I put parsley on it, and I just put the parsley in there, too, and it's so good, because I've already dug into this. I ate some yesterday. It's really good. On the carrot sticks, you can put it on uh, pita bread. I've got pita chips. Yeah, right. You're right. It is. It is, because the stuff you buy in the store, it has got so many different chemicals in it. You don't like, and you know, those chemicals aren't good for you. You know, and you need to make your own. That way you know what's in it. It's, it's a much better. Oh, these, oh, like, oh, wow. I probably shouldn't have put it up so high. I'm probably going to burn, burn, burn these. Maybe I'll put, turn down a little bit. Okay, now we're going to see what these look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Now, how do you like those? These are a lot better. Much better. Yeah, look. I should have left. See, that first batch, I didn't leave it in there long enough. Now look, they're flipping right over. These will be good ones. Look at those. Look at that. Yes, they are. I got them perfect. <laughs> it takes it takes a little bit. You know, the first ones you do are like pancakes. The first ones you do sometimes are not the best, but then as you start working with them, you know, they come out like. And those will be real good on a sandwich. Oh my goodness, they'll be. I've got a little bit of batter left, and I'll take one or two more. But uh, turning it up a little bit on high helped. Help to get help to get a, a little more brown. The, I mean, these almost look like pancakes, but I can eat them just like this because they're so. These are so good. These I won't show on Facebook. These I can because they are ideal. I would like to see Erlene make these and how they come out for her. I mean, when I saw this, I thought, oh my goodness, onion patties. My daughter says well, that sounds good. If you love onions, and I love on onions a lot. Onions are so good for you. I want to see if these are going to get done on the other. I don't want to get them too black on the underneath, but I want to make sure they're brown. Let me try this. Let's see here. Well, let's try this. And they're sliding all over my skillet, you can see. Sliding all over. Oh, well, maybe a little bit more. But, oh, because they're, they're supposed to get golden brown on the on both sides. But, uh, I love these Pampered Chef skillets. If anybody knows, this is the 12-inch skillet. I use the 12-inch because I know I can. Got, I got more room. Uh... They're ideal because you, you can use ut uh, metal utensils in them. Uh, you can't really damage these. You can't scratch them. Nothing flakes off. So, and I don't really use metal utensils in them. I prefer not to because I want to keep I want to keep them nice because they are expensive. The set is very expensive. Four hundred and fifty dollars for the set. So you really want to take good care of them. Oh, yeah, onion party and a veggie burger. You're absolutely right. <laughs> oh. And you've used metal in yours? Yeah. See, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I've accidentally, because I've used a metal whisk and stuff, and it doesn't flake off. See, there's four layers of titanium. That's what makes these so good. Four layers of titanium. So nothing flakes off. I think I can probably, I'm going to put these on the plate. Uh, just put these this aside. These I can actually post up on Facebook because they're, oh, look at that. Perfect. Those look real good. Those are the way they're supposed to look. A person, if they wanted to, instead of making burgers, you can make a, you can make these in, uh, like pancakes. But I'm going to make burgers because that's what they're supposed to be. I'm going to take what a little bit of uh, stuff I have left. Probably one, one per patty is about all I'm going to get. Very much so, and then I'll just flatten it out. It's not gonna be much, so 
And as these are thin enough, I could probably put two on a slice of bread. Um, there. Now, just put it back in the... There. Now, what do you think of these? Aren't those perfect? And oh man, don't they look good? Do they look like pancakes to you? They look a lot like pancakes to me, but I'm going to eat them as a burger. But like I say, they're thin enough. If I wanted to, I could put two on a two on a slice of bread. Um, oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, thank you. Oh, they are. I've tried them. I was trying, I was trying these here, and oh, they're so good. Delicious. They are. If you know, if you remember the onion rings you used to buy years ago at Mickey D's, you can probably still get them. These, similar to the, to the uh, onion rings you buy at McDonald's or Burger King, but much better. Much better. The flavor, mm, the flavor is just divine. Mmm, mmm. And it's because you're putting your own tender, loving care into it, you know. It's, it's just amazing. It's, oh, they're awesome. They're very good flavor. These here, I'm just going to eat the way they are, not put them on any bread or anything. But these are, these are going to go right on the bread. And like I said, I'll probably stick two of them together like this, put them on top of each other in the, on the sandwich. Because they are thin, and put two of them together for a sandwich. That's awesome. I mean, they're, they come out so great. You can see this is starting to cook up nice. Now I know, you know, after I start doing something, I realize that I had made a mistake on the first ones, and I can I know what to do now so that I don't make that mistake again. And let it cook a little bit longer. Uh, let them harden up a little bit. Get the bubbles out of them. It's almost like pancakes. Get the bubbles out and get them nice and golden brown like these got. First ones, it's always hard to get the first ones done right. But now I know. You know, I'm, you know, I make mistakes, but you guys don't get upset with me for it because we're only human anyway. After all, we all make mistakes, you know. And, and uh, it's hard to get everything right the first time. Get it perfect. Very hard to get it perfect. But absolute, But these have got an awesome flavor to them. Set these aside. Put them, two of them on a, on a slice of bread like that. They're, they're, they're going to be real good. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> oh, it does. It does make cooking fun. You know, what, make, what makes me excited is when I make something and it may come out, kind of crazy at first but if I keep trying it gets better and better that's what my excitement's all about because I finally got them to look the way they're supposed to I was kind of worried about the first ones but that's my fault because I didn't have the pan hot enough and I didn't let them go long enough but there you go and it's trial and error but they still okay they still taste wonderful but I, they need to look like this and these are the ones that are going on my vegan Facebook fake Facebook page I'm not going to eat any of these until I post it up there I'm um, thinking about maybe baking um, some mashed potatoes or something, having or having a baked potato with it maybe. Um, it would be so good because I haven't had my lunch yet, but this would be so good. I think I can flip this over now. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Nice. What she say? Uh... You're right. You're right. They can hit the tummy just right. Absolutely. I, I agree with you there. I'm going to get that off of there. You're right. They can hit the tummy just right. Oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so glad when you guys can come in and you're excited for me too because um, we're all learning together. We're sh I'm sharing out and, and uh, I'm showing you how you can do these, you know, and you can do them yourself. Um, if you have a big family, this would be ideal. Now, this is just me, but I'm just going to go ahead and eat them anyway. Hi, Vanita. Good to see you. Uh, <laughs> these are what my, my patties. Um, these are the first ones I did. They're not as done as they should be. They're delicious, though. These are the ones that just came out. Don't they look good? They almost look like pancakes, but they are patties. I'm going to put two of them together and put them on, a, on some bread for a sandwich. And my last one is in the skillet right now, and I'm going to think I'm going to shut the thing off before I get burn, burn the skillet up. And, oh yeah, it's good and done. See, there they go. There, I got five of them now. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, how this, oh, how this got in there. Uh-oh, melted some, <laughs> melted a piece of plastic in there. That's all right. I can wash it. It comes right off. But anyway, there, that, now that's, everything's done. Now, right, raise this up so you can, 
There. Don't look like I'm cutting my head off. There. Now, just look at the front ones. Aren't those awesome? And the flavor. If you've had onion rings from Mickey D's or from Burger King, they taste exactly like that. Even better. Um, they're awesome. These here, I'm just going to eat these like they are. These are still good, though. They just didn't get quite um, as brown as they should have, but boy, is it good. Mm, the flavor. I know people are going to want to try these. They're awesome. And I'll tell you what, what I have in here. Um, Three-quarter cup of flour. One tablespoon of sugar, and everybody knows I use cane sugar. A tablespoon of uh, cornmeal, which is not very much. My daughter says she doesn't like cornmeal, but it's, there's only a, a tablespoon in there. Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. Well, I kind of cut back on the salt a little bit. Um, Three-quarter cup of milk and two and a half cups of chopped onions, about two small onions, they said. But it ended up being two huge onions that I used to make that two and a half cups of, of onion. And then shortening or oil for frying. And that's all it calls for. That's it. That is, the, that is the ingredients right there. Very few ingredients, and they come out awesome, didn't they? Don't, didn't they look good? Really look good. I'm going to take, I'm going to take them and put, put them together to make a sandwich. Put two or so together to make a sandwich. I think they're really good. Oh, my. These here are, <laughs> are kind of um, not good, as good as they should be, but mm, still good. Still edible. It's just that they should look like these. Now that... I know what they're supposed to look like when I make them again off camera that I can get them right the first time because it's always hard. I know Alexis, she has problems sometimes getting things to come out too. It's hard at first because you got to get your pan hot. I have the same problem with pancakes. I don't get the pan hot enough so therefore it uh, <laughs> it doesn't uh, taste very good because I don't get them done enough. But you got to get the, these pans, my daughter said this morning, so after she turned it off the heat, she's man, that thing's still holding the heat. I says, yeah, they do. They hold the heat for a very long time. When they get hot, they stay hot. That's what's good about them. It, um, they really get hot, so you got to be real careful with them. But I love them for that reason because they do cook your food the way it should be cooked. Um, and if you don't have the set, see what you can do about getting it. I got the set because um, Erleen had had purchased it. She had won the set, and I, I bought it from her then. She got it. So, actually, um, Alexis had, had a raffle, and she drew, her, she drew names to see between me and Susan Bartlett, I think it was, see what the most expensive thing in the Pampered Chef catalog was. And it was this at the time. Um, I don't know if that still is. The, so, I, I put down the six-piece cookware set. Well, I, she drew my name. So, so, therefore, when she drew my name, Erlene decided she was going to send the cookware to me, and then I just paid her for half uh, half of the cookware. You know, I paid her half, and I, it was awesome. I really I really appreciate it from Erlene, and God bless her, because uh, it's because of her I've got the cookware set, and, you know, I love it. I really appreciated that. It's, it's just so awesome. If you can afford it, I would try and get it, because it's a very good cookware set. I mean, they've got other cookware that tries to be comparable to Pampered Chef, like your Pioneer Woman, uh, but they're not. And anything with a Teflon where the coating scrapes off, you don't want that. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, and, and the coating scrapes off, and you don't want the coating scraping off. You know, and that's, I used to use Teflon all the time, and when that start, stuff starts flaking off into your food, you better throw the pans out because they're no good. They're no good at all. So I, I don't I I stopped buying it for the longest time because I knew it wasn't wasn't what I was supposed to have. Um, I knew I wasn't supposed to have that Teflon, and when I realized that Pampered Chef had cookware set, I was so glad that I got it that Erlene got it for me and that I could pay her back because I wanted it so bad. And it's just ideal. It's a lovely set, you know. Of course, with my quick cooker, it saves a lot of time on the stove. Um, which I use it more than I do this set, but there are some things you don't use the quick cooker for, so these pans come in handy for that, like these. Oh my goodness, these things I'll make again. You just gotta keep onions on hand, and you know, I've got everything else. They're awesome, because they taste so good. Just like the onion rings you buy in Mickey D's or Burger King, 
They are really awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that I found this recipe because I think they're going to be ideal for anybody that wants to make them. Now, what I plan on making tomorrow, um, let's see, what if I can find it? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, here it is. This is what I want to make tomorrow. Um, I want to make the baked tofu nuggets tomorrow. Hopefully, because I've already got the, the tofu for it. Um, calls for extra firm tofu. And you bake it, and you make nuggets. Yeah, it was. It's, it's on Pinterest, sweetheart. Yeah, yep, it's on Pinterest. Um, but I'll put it on my vegan Facebook page, and you'll have the recipe there. You can copy it down. Yeah, it was on Pinterest. You know, that's where I get all my recipes from. At first, I couldn't find the recipe. I went in where the printer was, and I couldn't. I thought, well, I thought I printed it out. And um, I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I was going to go back on Pinterest to find the recipe. And then I went back in there and I thought, well, I wonder if it fell on the floor. It did. The recipe had fallen on the floor. The printer, print, had come out of the printer onto the floor. So I knew I had it, but I wanted to do this today. I was disappointed when I couldn't find it at first. I thought, well, gee, my recipe for today is gone. But it, it's a simple recipe. It's a lovely recipe. Very easy to make, as you can see. If you want to call them pancakes, you can call them pancakes because you can eat probably eat them like pancakes and put syrup on them. But I'm going to use them for burgers because that's or patties because that's what they're supposed to be used at. And uh, I'll put um, some vegan mayo on there. I've got some cheddar cheese slices. Boy, will that be a good sandwich! Wow, a real good sandwich. I'm going to have a good lunch. You know, a real good lunch because I love I love stuff like this. Stuff that I make myself makes it more special. When you put it, your own little hands into it, you know, it's made with tender, loving care, you know, and it's a much better than what you buy in the store. I mean, the the, to uh, the onion rings that you buy at, at Mickey D's, you know, doesn't have anything on these patties, let me tell you. These patties taste far superior to the onion rings that you would get at Mickey I'm not, don't get me wrong, those onion rings were good, but how many, but what did they use to cook them in? Did they cook them in lard? You really don't know. They may have cooked them in, in the wrong kind of stuff. You know, if they don't use vegetable oil and they use lard, that's not good either. So you got to be careful of that too. Um, I know some people still like to use lard. I don't. I use olive oil. That's mainly my what I cook with is olive oil. I use coconut oil sometimes too. But it says um, vegetable or, uh, let's see, what does it say? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Shortening or oil for frying. Um, I wouldn't recommend shortening, but I love my vegetable oil, so I use that for frying. Um, the um, olive oil it turned out so great but you can but as you can see these things are golden brown they're awesome on both sides they look they look so good and I know they're gonna taste absolutely awesome they're gonna really taste good and I'm gonna enjoy every morsel I'll tell you and I'll have to tell you tomorrow how they came out or how they tasted I mean I've already been eating on these and, I, and these taste good too so I know those will as well mm. Welcome to those coming in, and thank you. Mm. Now, these, I'm eating these because these aren't, aren't as done as they should be, but they're good. Still got a good flavor. Mm. Very good flavor. Now, these are, um, I wasn't too sure, because I've had recipes that have kind of failed on me. I put everything in it, the, the recipe called for, and they did not taste good. So I thought, well, this onion patties have got to taste good. There, there can't be anything wrong with onion patties. And there isn't. Not a darn thing wrong with them. Because onions are good for you. They really are. I eat, eat a lot of onions. I, I grew up on onions. But, but when I got married, yeah, it is. When I, got, when I got married, my husband at the time, he loved onions. He ate a lot of onions. Um, he would just uh, uh, get a slice of uh, two slices of bread, slice up some onion and put it in bread and he, he, eat a <laughs> sliceable onion for a sandwich. That's what he would do. He loved his onion. He still does. He still loves onions. He puts onions in his baked potatoes. Um, of course, he eats, he'll eat uh, sloppy joes or spaghetti and he wants to have his onion in that as well. Um, but onions are good. Um, I have no complaints about onions. And these were the yellow onions. I've also got white onions. It doesn't say what kind of onions to use. I don't really think it matters. Um, I wanted to get the onions used up because they're trying to, huh, you know, after a while they get like they want to start growing. Well, I wanted to get them used up because I didn't want them to start growing on me. Um, 
but they sure do taste good. But you take a recipe that you find and see if you can get it to come out. You're going to find that it's going to be real hard. Um, um, it might. It might. Um, red is a powerful um, onion. I don't care for the red onions too too much. I've had red onions with some, for some unknown reason. They're really strong. So I think the white and yellow would work the best on here. The red, you might be a little stronger. You don't want real strong tasting onions. I don't buy red unless a, a recipe calls for red, and then sometimes I'll substitute it for the yellow or the white because I like it better. No, it probably, you're right, sweetie. It probably wouldn't. Uh uh. No, it wouldn't. But with this, because like I said, they're strong too. They're, they're a strong flavor. They have a real strong, and I didn't realize how strong a flavor they had until I was doing doing a recipe a while back that called for red onion. And that, I wasn't doing it on Periscope, but I was doing it on my own. And it called for red onion. And I put it on, and I thought, oh my goodness, that stuff is strong. But I think you can, um, I think put it in water or something and kind of um, get rid of the strong taste. But boy, was it ever strong. So that's why I don't buy red onions. Um, I'd rather have the white or the yellow. Um, I don't know what's the difference in the flavor between the white and the yellow. I haven't really noticed any difference. I have used white onion, but I really didn't notice the difference between that and yellow. These are yellow onions. They're very good. Um, putting a little bit of sugar in there kind of uh, helps a little bit, makes it less strong, and gives it a little bit sweeter taste. Because your your onion rings you get at Mickey D's or or uh, Burger King have, have a sweet flavor to them. And with that um, cane sugar in there, it gives it a sweeter flavor. Uh, it's not so tart or tangy. These are awesome. I know that people are going to want to want to try these. Once I post it up on my on my vegan Facebook page, I hope they give them a try. I've got some more recipes of Erlene's I want to try. She's always doing. She showed me some uh, Mexican brown rice that she had done this morning. She's always cooking food. You know, uh, yeah. And pray. And while we're, I'm, I'm thinking about it, pray for Erlene too. Too. She. Uh, Messaged me this morning and said she's got to have physical therapy on her shoulder. She is, she had surgery on her shoulder in 2013, she said. And it's, the doctor said the problem that she had could come back. It's, it freezes up on her, so she has to have phys, physical therapy. So I'm hoping the physical therapy will remedy the situation. I know what it's like to have physical therapy. I had physical therapy on my knee. And this before I had surgery on it because I had thrown my kneecap out of place. And... I thought, well, if I go to physical therapy, the doctor said, well, have some physical therapy. That should help it. Well, it never did. I don't know how long I went to physical therapy, but long enough it didn't help it. So I thought, well, I'll go to physical therapy first and see what happens. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to have surgery because I wanted to avoid the surgery because surgery can be expensive. But I did have to have surgery. I did have to have, <clears throat> have, to have arthroscopic surgery on my knee. It's the same knee my daughter had surgery on. We both had it on the same knee, uh, done the same way. And she has a little bit of problem with arthritis, uh, arthritis, I think, in the winter. Mine will pain a little bit, but not much. But Erlene's been having problems with her. Her shoulder's been hurting her like crazy, she said. And you've got to use your shoulder a lot. I don't know how, you, how she can sleep. I know I couldn't. If your shoulder starts hurting, I thought maybe it was her rotator cup that she that uh, went out on her. But she said, no, it wasn't her rotator cup. So we got to pray for her because... Uh, I want that physical therapy to work because that's got to be painful to hurt all the time. You can't function if you have body parts that are always hurting, you know. So I hope our physical therapy goes and helps because you can't, there's no guarantee on anything anymore. The doctor, after she had her surgery, the doctor said she could have the same problem again. You know, to me, that's no consolation to have surgery and then be told, well, it can come back again after the surgery. I mean, what's the point? What's the point in having the surgery if it's going to come back anyway? You know, but I guess she didn't know, you know, and she's had problems off and on with her shoulder, but now it's starting to bother her again. So I, I didn't know it until she messaged me this morning. So keep her in your prayer, you know, because um, when is your physical therapy early? And I know she's in here. I don't know when, when is your first th physical therapy appointment? So I can pray for you the day you go to physical therapy because I want to make sure that that physical therapy is going to help. I hope the doctor knows what they're saying, what they're talking about, because sometimes the doctors think they know, and they really don't. You know, they 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 tell you all kinds of stuff to get you in there, and then come to find out it isn't what it's cracked up to be. You know, I've had that myself, and I don't like going to doctors if I can if I can help it. I hate doctors, but you know, 
they're there for a reason, you know. I've had, uh, I had the knee surgery before that. I had a hysterectomy, and that was several years before that. I think my hysterectomy I had in, in um, 94, I think it was, something like that. I had it in 94. And I can't remember when I had my knee surgery, but I had it um, quite, a while, quite a long while ago. I think it was in 2000, 2001, 2002, something like that. I had my, my knee surgery, but that's the only surgeries I've ever had. Um, if you never have to have surgery, you're lucky, because surgery is <laughs> is not the end all to be all sometimes, you know. But uh, I will admit that my surgery on my knee helped me quite a bit, um, because I don't have the kneecap popping out of place anymore. Hi, Linda. Good to see you. I'm glad you finally made it. Here's my. I know they look like pancakes, but they're patties. They're onion patties. I'll pick two or three of them together and put them on a slice of bread, because these I left in there a little bit longer. Um, and I'll put cheese on it, and these are really, really good. Um, they, ta they taste like the onion rings you buy at Mickey D's or, or Burger King. That good, because it takes two and a half cups of chopped onions. Um, you, oh, yeah, you do miss me, but I'm here. I should have messaged you, Linda. I'm sorry, I did I didn't message you before you, I came on. Um Oh, it, 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 they are. These, these I didn't get done enough, but they're still good. I've been eating on them. But these are the ones that I'm going to um, post up on my vegan Facebook page. And I'm going to put them just like this on my sandwich. Because I can put two or three of them together. Because they are thin. And I'm not going to eat my pancakes. They'll be like patties. I'm going to put them on bread with some vegan cheddar cheese and maybe some ketchup. Boy, that'll be a good sandwich. Really good. Oh, man. I mean, they're luscious, you know. And if you got a, a family, you can, you can try them with your family, you know. Maybe um, you could double the recipe if you wanted to, I suppose. You know, I thought this would make a lot more than this, but this is just fine because they're thin anyway. See how thin they are? And uh, what's the... Okay, I'll tell you. All right. Three-fourths <clears throat> three cup of flour. I use the all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of sugar, and I use the cane sugar. Um, one tablespoon of cornmeal. Uh, two teaspoons of baking powder. And everybody knows I use a non-aluminum. Two teaspoons of salt. Three-fourths cup of milk. And I use the uh, um, almond milk, not the unsweetened almond milk. And two, two and a half cups of chopped onions. And they say about two small onions, but I ended up using two large onions and still had almost, I think it was about two and a quarter, close enough. And shortening, shortening our oil for frying. And that's all it takes. And you take a scoop. I took the scoop, but you take two. You take a tablespoon, and you put it on your in your skillet, and then you flatten it with a spatula, and uh, you get them good and done. I didn't get the first ones as done as I should have, but these second ones are perfect. They're awesome. So there, these are the ones that are going to go up on my vegan Facebook page. Um, I'm going to spread them out and show people what they look like. They are so good. This is going to be a good lunch today. I plan on plan on maybe having a baked potato with it or. Maybe mashed potatoes, or maybe I'll just <laughs> have enough in a sandwich. I probably won't have to do it. Hey! I might not have to do it, but this is so awesome. They're simple to try. I mean, I had a little problem at first, because like I said, it takes trial and error to get anything to come out right. It really does. Trial, a trial and error. I, I, I hate it when things don't work out the first time, but you're welcome. But I, but I keep trying, and I tried the second ones come out perfect. I put my lid on. Left them in there a little bit longer. Didn't try to turn them over too soon, and they came out perfect. If I had done that with the first ones, they'd all look the same. But you know, this is plenty because I got two sandwiches out of this, and this would be ideal. I'll cut one in half. I'm gonna have two and a half slices on each bread, I'm, and I think this is gonna be good. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna get off here early so I can get get my lunch early because I've got a few more dishes in the sink to do, and I may have some work to do outside. So I want to get out there and do that. So. Um, you'll just have to watch the replay, those that came on late, because um, I show you exactly how I made them and everything. You can even see the blunders I did, but that's <laughs> neither here nor there. It's there. But anyway, hope you all have a great day. And wait for me to come on tomorrow, because I'm going to make the baked tofu nuggets tomorrow. Hopefully, that's what I want to make tomorrow. So, everybody have a great and marvelous day. And until we meet again, take care, God bless, and bye-bye.